Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over my stock picks for the week of July 19th through the 23rd. Before we do, just to reiterate, I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure that you do your own research. Also, guys, if you find a value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content, and also hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know when we release new content. So guys, let's dive right on into it. All right, guys, before we get too far into this, let me just tell you that I am still on vacation. Okay, this was a pre-recorded video, and this is recorded as of Thursday, uh, July the 15th, so it's a little bit early, so some things may change between now and then, uh, but overall, I kind of made my picks and my overall outlook on basically, um, you know, kind of factored all that in, into play as well. So. Uh, just just a heads up so if you do leave a comment or anything and i don't reply you know i'll probably be a couple of days behind on catching up on those but hope you enjoy the pick so before we do that we're going to talk about a recap of july 12th through the 16th so gnog basically a total dud it provided some average down or entry point opportunities for us this is still a longer term hold i did sell some of my shares and dump them into zion oil and gas uh, the next one was ecor Ecore, we talked about it should fall down closer to around a dollar, which it did. And I still think that it provides a good entry point for either a 50 to 100% gain for a longer term swing position. Okay. Worst case, maybe about like a 20% gain. Uh, IQST had some breaking news, but still hanging around 60 cents. Uh, I think a big move to the upside is coming uh, fairly soon, guys. I went ahead and bought more and doubled my position. So uh, the picks for this week or next week is Zion Oil and Gas. I'm going to look at finalizing my position and holding through hopefully what is to come a very, very crazy and wild wave. Uh, they should be releasing PR pretty soon, uh, whether that be that they completed the third section of their rig and move it on to the fourth, or maybe they struck oil. I don't know what it is, but they have to release something because they actually technically never put the PR out that they actually completed the third section or third stage of uh, drilling for the MJ2. So maybe that comes first, maybe then oil, I don't know. But they did have some more insider transaction this week that we covered earlier in the week. Um, so I think that's a really, really good sign moving forward for all of the shareholders. Uh, next one up, guys, is Triple E and F. This is another oil company out of Alaska. I'm going to look at starting a smaller position of about 1,000 to 1,500 shares. And I'll add some more later. They actually found oil and they're looking to do all the testing and the viability of the oil and everything like that. Uh, so I think over the next two to three weeks is whenever the announcement's going to come out. So I'm going to start a very, very small position. And then as it gets closer, if they have some breaking news, then I'll go ahead and add some more to it and kind of ride it up. And the next guys is FNGU, which is a three times leverage ETN that tracks our major uh, tech sector. And Basically, what I'm going to look to do is I'm going to look to add some more on a dip and potentially take some profits if it continues to come higher. So if it busts through that $40 mark and it holds, then it's going to easily go to 43, 45, maybe even beyond. But at that point, I'm going to have some decent profit on the table. I'm going to be looking to take some of that out and then I could always get back in if it dips down again to about the 40 to $37 mark. And on the watch list, guys, is IDEX. I'm looking at held. Pretty solid up until now at about 240 a share. It's kind of bouncing up and down, uh, but it looks like it's holding right there. So I'm looking for a little pop to the upside if it hasn't already by Monday. And then that's where I look to take some profits. I average down a couple of times in this play. If it falls down lower than what it is, which I'm not sure if it will, then I'll average down some more. But I'm hoping it can make its way closer to the upside at three bucks so I can take some profits on it. And then Sassol, which is SSL, the ticker symbol. Uh, very close to undervalued as of today and usually makes a decent recovery once the market after the market kind of has its little pullback then this thing usually follows suit and makes its way back up to the upside as well so uh, i'm not going to really break down the charts today guys because it may not be fully accurate for monday okay but i can tell you that idex currently is about 240 243 sasols at about uh, 14 bucks and some change. FNGU is about 37 bucks. Um, e, G, 3 ENF is about uh, 
close to three cents actually kind of popped a little bit today and Zion oil and gas is holding at about 37 to 38 cents so we'll just have to kind of wait and see uh, what happens this upcoming week but I'm excited I'm excited for all of our plays I'm excited for all the things that we have moving into the future so that's all I got guys thanks so much for watching make sure that you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell comment below on what you would like to see but also what are you buying this week what are you holding what are you selling tell me your plans so I'm always open to feedback always uh, open to hearing what everyone else is doing around us so other than that guys we'll catch you in the next video